Hi guys, this is Anirban and I am going to take you into an interesting grand journey in cinematography. There are a lot of things in cinematography. Lighting is probably the most talked about of all those. Lighting involves five basic factors. Position, direction or angle of the light, softness or hardness of the shadow which the light casts, the color of the light and probably the most important, the brightness or intensity of the light. And the fifth one is more to be felt. It's the texture of light. Today we'll talk about the first of these five factors, the position or direction or angle from which light is coming. This is a light position diagram. Cinematographers use this to plan lighting and to remember previous light setups. Seen from above in the top view, the character is at the center of the frame and the camera at the bottom. A single light is rotated around the character, starting from the camera position. The basic light positions around the human face are at 0 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree, 135 degree and 180 degree from the line connecting the camera and the character's eyes. Plotting the light positions on both the sides of the human face would create the likeliness of a wall clock. For each light positions on the clock, there may be three different heights for the light in relation to the human face. Eye level, above the head and below the head. Nice butterfly shadow under the nose. This is used for glamour. Even the white light dimmed from below looks like light coming from laptop or tab. Even dimmer, the feel of tab or cell phone is more prominent. Color change to yellow orange or amber, it looks like firelight. This is almost eye level, looks like light coming from TV. Classical portrait light, looks pleasant, named after the Dutch painter Rembrandt. It looks like light from a chandelier. The effect is enhanced when the light turns amber. Too much yellow may feel like candle source, emotions such as jealousy or sickness. This looks more like candle source. Also known as side light, this goes with the villain or the man in indecision or split mind. Amber color makes it more human and coming from table lamp or candle source. This creates the impression of neon street light coming from outside. Tone down, defeated person. Looks like a table lamp on the side. This may be used for a horror scene. This light is known as kicker or rim light. Automatically, it looks like night. Dimmed, this looks like moonlight falling from outside on the face. Turned amber color, this looks like street light coming from the window. Light dimmed and light blue, the feel of moonlight and night are enhanced. Even more dimmed and bluish, the rim looks ethereal. A halo is created around the character. This is also known as backlight. White side light and backlight in combination. This creates the dark mode. Side light turned amber, backlight blue. The effect is fire source and moonlight falling on the shoulders from back. White Rembrandt and blue kicker combined create a pleasing portrait. Here, a short scene is taken. The source, candle, is seen. One artificial light is used to amplify the candlelight to expose the girl's face well. Cutting in, close up to her face, the contrast looks even better. So you have seen how to do the basic lighting setup, especially for positions, to create different types of mood. You also saw that cinematography is not magic. It's just step-by-step -step work like architecture or any other type of engineering with some creativity. So, I hope you learned as much as I learned while talking to you and you enjoyed the session. All the best.